So this Saturday, October 14th, playing Foam One Lynn. It's special to me because it's a hometown show. I haven't played in Miami in years. It's a big deal for me to have those people there that really support me and believe in me and that are so close to home. If you don't know what a Lucas set is, you know, you're gonna come leaving that show being like, damn, like I had so much fun. Right. And like, that's what it's all about for me. Um, yeah, I'll play like my original music and stuff like that, but I pride myself in making really cool edits and like unique things that you're not gonna hear in other people's sets. And you're gonna hear throwbacks. You're gonna hear stuff that you don't normally hear in DJ sets and you're gonna remember it. It's gonna be memorable. And I think that's what sets me apart from everyone else. So I just hope everyone has a lot of fun. All right, guys, crazy ass start. It's probably really, really loud, and the audio is shit, but it's okay because we're back, and you guys love when we do this. So here we are at another Lucas Larvis show, yeah. this time in Miami, about to play a very interesting show. It's all dubstep, and Lucas is not a dubstep artist, so it should be a fun one. We're late, but late better than never, you know? <laughs> there we go, we go bro. Five minutes. <laughs> Cinco minutos. <laughs> Ready, I'm brother? Excited. I'm excited. Yeah. Let's uh, go. We're here in Miami, hometown. People showed out, so it's gonna be a good time. Thank you for having us, brother. I'm glad you guys are here. I love this. Thank you, bro. Love you, brother. Yes, sir. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. In the night, the stormy night, she goes to So it's 11.33, it's late. Uh, usually we're here until like three o'clock in the morning, but Anthony and I have prior commitments. So we kind of called it, uh, not quits, but we called it a night early. This show is kind of odd because it's very dubstep and Lucas is not a dubstep DJ. I mean, he can, but his style is very different. But it was a nice change of venue because yeah. we're usually shooting, we're usually shooting indoors. You're right. And then we got to shoot outdoors, which is, cool because we usually don't get to do it. We're usually inside of a club or a venue. So this was outdoors and it was a change of scenery. Like Andrew said, dubstep. So a little bit like more rip your guts out type of music than what Lucas usually does, which is like future bass. So it was a complete change of environment, but it was good and I had fun. I think fun. The, crowd, the crowd liked it because you go from, again, screaming and bashing your head against a wall to a different pace yeah. for at least an hour. So it was good. I mean, we had fun and Oscar had fun too. Uh, so, Which thank you, by the way, bro. Yeah, thank you, buddy, for having us here or for coming with us. <laughs> and uh, that's yeah, guys. Brain dead. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> when you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And uh, hopefully, this was a fun experience watching it as it was for us shooting it. So uh, we see you guys on the next one. Yeah.